This is Gibson. He is a waste picker who lives on the streets of Santon. He is also a university graduate with an honors degree. Hi, I'm Sawin Kwasi Gibson Zimande, but I prefer to be called Gibson. I'm, I'm 34 years old. I'm holding a BA in Humanities, majoring in History and Development Studies. Um, I'm also holding a BA, Honors in Gender Studies. I am currently doing my master's degree, however it's in the intermission partly because of the financial related issues and then also my family problems. Basically what I'm doing now, I am I'm a, a scrap collector. Despite his situation, Gibson has not given up on his dreams of becoming a lecturer. While he is not currently registered to a tertiary institution, he continues to study and research literature at a public library so that one day when he gets enough money, he can finally complete his master's degree and later his PhD. Gibson keeps his certificates in a small bag in his trolley and a diary to keep him on schedule. It's keep me organized, you know, like and I'm trying to organize like, you know, my day, you know. Because, uh, you know, sometimes I tend to regret myself when I fail to, de to do certain things, you know, which was I was supposed to do, you know. Yeah, that's why I'm using the diary to make sure that, you know, let, to make sure that, like, um, I, I go to that certain area or else I do that certain, certain activity as well. In this diary, Gibson also jots down his life experiences. I never ever experienced in life, you know, in the street. I uh, I used to see people, you know, like living in the, in the street, and then I, was, I also tell, like I used to charge them, you know, saying, "Ah, no, I maybe these people they they are, they are you know, by hands, you know, they are actually in that situation as a result of maybe drugs and so forth, you know." But only to find when the situation came to me, it was something else, you know, and. It is very tough when you're living in the street. You can't actually survive if you, if you are not strong. And you see. Gibson started facing trouble when his family abandoned him after his mother passed away. Gibson had to make it on his own. I decided, no, let me just go and then apply for any job, you know, some, for me to raise some new dark funds. And then, then that's when I, um, I applied to Egorulini and then I was an intern there. Yeah, in the strategy and corporate planning department. After saving money and receiving a bursary, he was able to complete his bachelor's degree in 2014 and then his honors degree in 2017. Things were looking up when he started his master's degree in 2018. He became a history research assistant and later a tutor, which allowed him to rent a place in Soweto. He also received a scholarship from the University of Toronto. But towards the end of 2019, things became tough for Gibson. Yo, know, those days, like, things were worse, you know. Why? Because of these family things and, you know, the room was too expensive for me. I have so many things, like, happening in life. But I hide those things, to, like, you know, from my friends, you know, to, to my friends and other people, you know. His tutor contract ended. And because of financial issues, he wasn't able to submit his dissertation. Since then, Gibson has been sleeping near a petrol station and recycles material just to survive. Only The only thing I do, food. Yeah, just food to go to the internet, you know, and then, yeah. The party, in terms of me getting to, you know, to know, to finish my master's, no, I can't at all because Basically, I do 50 runs, 70 runs, sometimes 100 runs, yeah, so it depends, yeah. Yeah, because like we are so many, there are so many, like, uh, we call it Abakherizi, the hustlers, you know, we are so many and we are fighting off the territory, therefore you can't actually have, like, so many ways to sell, you know. In South Africa, many in poverty turn to drugs and crime, but Gibson has managed to not fall into that path and remains determined to achieve his goals. Then I, like, I told myself, this is not my life. I just want to do this. I want to get like better, like good job. And then I want to finish my, my thing, my, my, my master's and so forth. For me, I saw once I like, uh, I, asked, uh, I told myself that once I, I've started to mark people and then that will be 
the end of my career and then also myself because I'll be going to prison. Gibson says right now what he needs is a job. But he believes that he will not live this life of struggle forever. Giving up for me is something as I never give up in life. I could say I'm a very strong person regardless of like I have nothing. These obstacles just the obstacles who are trying to build me rather than, you know, rather than destroying me. On a daily basis I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing a lot so that I can escape and this I can say it's a, a horror life for me.